from the Eagle to the People, let's play Darksiders 3. Now, where we left off was the other day we were playing up to, I believe it was the next Sin thing we needed to take out, but I was getting kind of cream. So, uh, we're going to continue the carnage here. And watch us get really, really creamed. However, it's still working out quite nicely. I know this game is challenging. It's part of the uh, the appeal, I think, to the game. Give me one quick moment here. So what we did do was we leveled up a little bit. We did some stuff like that to make sure that we can get some things taken care of. Maybe not everything, but some things. So we've, we've leveled up our character a little bit. I want to see if I have some extra souls. Maybe I can level up some more. If not, then I'm going to grind out some souls later after this. So we'll do the boss fight and then I'll be just basically grinding souls. <laughs> Alright, so we only got 100 souls. Which that's okay. I'm not too, too concerned about it. There are a lot in here. Figured this was going to happen. Cutscene. There wasn't much that the humans got right. But they did no art. What? Frankly, I think it's one of the reasons that the angels were so jealous of them. Have you ever seen one of those birds paint? You're talking about art. Now. Here. It's a museum. Well, certainly, we have our mission. I'm just saying. <laughs> to pay the entrance fee. Your life. Take it if you dare, wretch! Oh, I must have very inevitable. <laughs> See, now here's the problem. He's going to start throwing stuff at me. So I got to kind of like play the pillar game here. Come on down, big guy. see him. I want to see if I can get some, uh, let's get a strength shard hitting. I'm just trying to get the havoc to turn on here. sight of him. Oh, 
Got him, got him. Okay, so two tries. That wasn't too bad. Who needs a museum when you can carry a collection in this? Oh, Philistine. <laughs> no! No, 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 don't, don't take me away. There was stuff there. Hmm. That was unfair. Well, I mean, I probably should have focused on trying to pick it up, but at the same time, was kind of more concerned about Avarice. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. It should get me somewhere in between on all of that. So not too, too bad. I'm interested to see where this takes me, though. Because she looked like she was unwillingly yanked through whatever portal that was. Oh, and if you guys don't, don't know offhand, this is literally the longest loading screen. Welcome again, Fury. It's not like I had a choice in the matter. Do you kidnap all your guests? You would not be so disrespectful if you knew the true power I give you. Your battle with Avarice proved you value your mission above material possessions. You are ready for stronger tools of destruction. Oh, I'm certain I like it. Another toy for me to play with. You're far too generous. The Storm Hollow. Use it wisely. Why not give me all your gifts and get it over with? If you're so keen to arm one of the horsemen. Be gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that seems to have worked. I can't complain about that. What does this one do? And now I'm going to have to actually figure out how to shift between these. So that's going to be interesting. Um, I was really, really liking my whole flame flame hollow thing there. So, yeah. Press LB and Y to activate. Left button. Oh, I'm going to have to like write that down. Okay. Left bumper and yep. 
so it's the top one. Hey, yay! I can still collect my stuff. Sweet. Demonic artifact. Small healing shard. You know, for as many healing shards as I had to use against you, dude, I should be getting more of that back. But that's okay. Small cluster wrath shards. Hey, look at that. Adamantite. I like that. Okay. So essentially, guys, I think what I'm going to do is kind of avoid using too much of the the souls to get the shards per se and focus more of my souls into getting the levels oh slow fate I'm gonna say for right now let's stick with the health I'll go feed farm some souls up as we go and I'll see if I can get a little bit more going we might be able to get up there but I don't think that's gonna be a thing we can do it's all right though Avo is or the the guy we just faced is taken out that's his problem solved there I want to see what this Lance looks like Coming back through here, probably not the best idea. But hey, you know. I was never one for great ideas. Somehow I managed to clip that thingy that I wasn't trying to clip. That's all right. Anyway, uh, time to go forward. I'm sure I'll find something somewhere I can mess with. I got 25 souls out of those guys, so that's cool. Going this way, we should end up seeing some of these other guys, because I know that we did that once before. Um... Yeah, I think they're, like, tucked off over here. The war just started off really, really poorly. I much prefer my flame one right now, but I know it's going to be new hairdo. Nah. <laughs> Alright, I kind of see the idea of how to switch between them. That's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. I can kind of deal with that. Not even upset. I would eventually... Eventually, I would like to get back over to... Uh, the maker so that way I can actually upgrade my stuff but that's okay uh, we'll get there when that time comes it is quite pretty the way she attacks with this thing though careful here so let's just use a small healing shard for now 
That'll get us back to half health. Half health. I don't know. Yeah, there, there he is. Well, for now. <laughs> I'm pretty much accepted the fact that I'm going to die a lot in this game, so that's going to be a thing. But that's okay. Um, not the end of the world if I do. However, the nice part is this did get me to the other side, which was originally where we were trying to go to, because I think there's another sin up top. So we'll have to figure that out. That autosave feature can take a while. Hi! Nice. Okay. What's this way? That thing is what we've been trying to get to the entire time. That thing is gross. I don't know. Should be able to jump up onto this now if I did that. Ooh, you know what? Hang on. Yeah, okay, I see where I'm at. I'm on top of the tunnels in the subway. That makes so much more sense. Perfect, because I wanted to get up there earlier anyway. Piece of silver adamantite. Good with that. Uh, that should mean the Maker's fairly close, so I could probably use the Serpent Hole and jump back to the Maker if I wanted to. So what I'm going to do first is, uh, collect these. Hopefully we'll be able to test the theory eventually that that'll work out for us. Um, not entirely sure if it will, however, that's okay. Again... That leads up that way, but I do want to kind of explore around it. We can always shoot back to him. So we're going to shoot back and go see. I think we'll go see the maker real quick. Because I do... A of course, I want to upgrade my weapons, so that's a big one. So, our guys here, I can use the Serpent Hole. The mighty heart tower. Well, I do want to make sure these have some damage possible. to them. But now, let me think it was possible. But now, you're even dead, let me think it was possible. But now, you're even deadlier. I use these quite a bit. What beautiful havoc you'll wreak with that. And then I'll upgrade Some this. Of my best work. Right. Interesting. Take Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate it. Watch your back, eh? yeah. Having some of those upgrades should help out a little bit. I wonder where all the humans go, though, because I do send some back this way. Alright. So that was a big one. I'm going to take the elevator down, like I said. Um, essentially. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I do want to... Or the reason why I'm going to do that is because I do want to see if... This will allow us to jump high enough to get to the next area we needed to get to. So, it might not. I don't... I can't guarantee it will or won't. But, it'll be an interesting sight. So, we'll mess around in here a little bit, and then that's probably where we'll end up calling it. I do want to check out the weapons, see how well those did. Um take one of my Nephilim respites because I don't want to end up getting killed doing this. So I'm sure things have respawned. That and the 
The other thing that's nice too is we can actually get through this stuff now. So I can start getting into these areas. Which I'm not entirely sure what was in this area to be good. Hey! was in that area, but there was something in that area. I'm trying to pay a little bit of attention. I figured as much. Bye, dude. Jeez, weeps. Well, that didn't go well. Not exactly offhand. That's okay. Can't even get the soul. If I take a single hit, I'm done for. So I've got to play very tactical at this exact second. Bonus attack. Aha! So it does work how I thought it would. Okay. Well, then there's a lot of things that we've got to explore. And I've got to hopefully not die trying to get to.
very, very low on health right now. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. It's okay, it's okay. So we are gonna go back in here. I am gonna make a mess of these guys real quick because I have some health now, which is really, really nice. I do have some damage upgrades to this particular weapon, which is nice. Um, the blue souls, some of them are there. Some of them are gonna respawn wherever I die at. That's the thing I don't want to deal with right off the bat. Seems to be a running theme of those big guys there. I think I killed it early by accident. I actually haven't been using that because I didn't realize the trigger command until just a second ago on how to use that. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. So it's actually, if you ever have to use that, it's going to be L, LB plus right trigger. So it's kind of like weird. I've been trying to do it LB and right RB. So, yeah. Um, that worked out. He dead. That's what matters. I think I came down here for a piece of silver adamantite, which is still worth it to me. Uh, time to go and get the other one next. But the nice part about this stuff is that I can actually move around. I can get into these areas. That's kind of a thing that I really, really wanted to do. Regardless of how everything else kind of went in the game, this will give me a chance to kind of up some souls, get some things put together, clear, clear basically whatever I can. Which eventually I'll have to get over there. That's going to take a different style of things. Um... Frenzy Shard, Wrath Shard, Nephilim Shard. I've got a thousand souls, so I could probably get another Havoc Shard, and that'll get this guy out of my way as well. So let's do that. I'll try it the old-fashioned way first, but yeah. The Havoc Shards are useful to me. They are very useful. So let me get the Arcane Shard, or the Nephilim Reese fight up. allows me to go under. Still got that big guy somewhere around there. Oh, hi.
go with the storm one next. See what we can do there, because there's that big guy there. If I could just get around without disturbing him too much, I should be okay. Come on, I got it just in time. That was bull. So this one's fire, not so much the, the ground area. Oh, bye. That specific one I turned into a... Uh, a point that should have helped me keep my stuff. Now, I do want to do that just for this particular reason here. Big guys are a pain in the keister. Alright, so I do kind of want to clear out some of these little guys that gave me an issue just a second ago because that was unfair. Alright, I'll take the little guys first, hopefully without that bigger area. And hopefully that'll help me keep that area cleaned out. So what I am going to do is use my Nephilim's fight. Come down here. We've also got this guy back here that gave us issues last time. Okay. Now we're going to go get that soul cluster there. this little dude. So essentially it should work out like so. Oh, I see. I see. I saw it. There's a drop down point. So let me drop down first, get that. We'll get that soul cluster and that's probably going to be an interesting spot. So once we get this soul cluster right here, after we drop. Yeah, there we go. That'll actually put us into a spot where we're in a decent position. Sweet. So, let's see what's back here first. Probably not much. Um, I hear it. I'm getting really... I like the fact that they switch through weapons so quick. Like, when you're playing it, it will actually transfer from one weapon to the next really, really nicely, which is a really smooth endeavor. 
so that's that's a good one um whatever's up here it looks like most of this leads to dead ends however i do feel like we've been here before if not then i went the right way and that's uh not what i expected Either way, um, I've got to tell you, man, this game is super, super challenging so far. guy down there. Alright, I don't think this is what I initially thought it was, but that's okay. takes care of that one. Now there is souls around here. That's what I'm seeing. So these are souls. So these little things really don't do you a whole lot other than just give you an area to be locked out. I'm hoping to just pull one at a time here. I think if I can just pull them a little at a time, that'll help me out in the long run. Okay, now that is gonna pull this guy. Okay. So, what essentially this does look like is a lot of things have been kind of pushed off and hidden to the side, so I don't want to progress anything forward yet. Not quite, but I do want to kind of clear out this area and get a couple of the souls that I can get. Clear out what I can clear out, basically, is what that's boiling down to. So that way I can get some of the extra stuff going on and we don't miss too much of anything. Now I do know that each hit I do with the whip gives me a percentage of my health back, which may or may not have been the right choice there, but I'm just going to go ahead and wing on it. Call it what it is. I'm actually trying to kind of use things to my advantage and build up that Nephilim 
fight as well. Up, oh, I. That needs a lot of the dodging, but again, there is one other thing sitting in my way down there. And the angelic artifacts are kind of what I'm looking for, because those are going to upgrade my relic. So the only other thing in this area left to clear is that big guy down there. Now I do have one last Havoc Shard I could use to get him out of my way. He's still sleeping though, so let's check this area. Yeah, see we've used that before, so down here is where our one guy is down there. Oh, hi! Not what I wanted to use! Uh, I want to use that. I want to use that. Thank you. Hi. Okay, I guess we're using that Havoc Shard after all. Healing shard that might help out. Soul clusters themselves are kind of worth coming down here for. Oh my lord, there's two of them. There's two of them. There's two of them. I didn't see that. There is two of them. I'm out. I'm out of 5,000 there. Bye. Okay, didn't see that coming. Okay, we're gonna go Havoc Shard on this guy. Cool, 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 cool. I didn't want to lose whatever's down here, but I also... Oh, see, there's a whole other section there, and there's a demonic artifact and all kinds of stuff, so... It was kind of worth it at the same time. That lasted a lot longer that time. So that was good. That was, that was actually a lot better than I expected it to go. So whatever's down here is what I was curious for. Which hopefully doesn't lead to, like, death. Silver adamantite. That's it. Alright. 
So we've collected those things on the side, which pretty much, guys, as you progress the game, make sure you come back to these areas. It does let you actually do it, but make sure you come back in here and you get these little things, because they will help you in the long run. I'm just almost positive of it. If nothing else, just having the weapon upgrades themselves is a huge, huge deal. <laughs> so we do want to collect some souls, we do want to deal with all of that. I'm not too, like I said, I'm not too upset with anything that just went on here. I am going to take care of this guy real quick. I am hitting him, I can see it. Now those are going to be respawn areas. And there is something up there still. But of course that big guy there is still awake. I really don't want to fight that big guy if I don't have to yet. My fault for overlooking it, but that's why we go back, check things out again, make sure that we nail everything properly. Now the hope here is to collect some souls without having too much of an issue. What I am trying to do though is get back to like the main area. Cause the main little area out here should get us to a spot where I'm pretty comfortable with the way things are going. Pretty happy with it. So guys, on that note, if you guys like these episodes, you know what to do. Go ahead and smack the crap out of the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way every time I update, you get pinged with it. This is Dark Souls 3. It's an interesting game to say the least, and it does, does have quite a bit of fun to it. So on that note, guys, if you haven't tried it, it's challenging, but it's fun. It's interesting, yet... Again, it's, it's a little bit of everything that you could ask for. So on that note, check it out. And I will see you... And I will see all of you and your beautiful faces in the next video. Bye-bye.